Hello, this is Dr. Benjamin and Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University. Today we're going to practice identifying electrophiles and nucleophiles. Identify the electrophile and nucleophile in the following mechanism step. Once the timer starts, you will have 10 seconds. If 10 seconds isn't long enough, feel free to pause the video. Remember, if you need more time, feel free to pause the video. In trying to identify whether a particular reagent is an electrophile or nucleophile, we have to look at what it's doing in a reaction. So in this particular reaction, we have two reactants, an alcohol and hydrogen chloride. The alcohol is using one of the lone pairs on its oxygen atom to form a new bond to hydrogen. So the alcohol is a nucleophile, and is specifically a lone pair type nucleophile. Once we've identified one, it's kind of like identifying acids and bases in a reaction. Once you've identified an acid, then the other species in that reaction must be a base. Same thing is going on here. Once you've identified either the nucleophile or the electrophile, the other thing must be the other one. Uh, hydrogen chloride is acting as the electrophile of this reaction, and it's a polarized sigma bond type electrophile. It's accepting a pair of electrons from the alcohol to form a new bond to hydrogen, but the hydrogen chlorine bond is breaking at the same time that's happening. Let's do another practice. Determine if the circled atom in the structure below is a nucleophile or electrophile. Once the timer starts, you will have 10 seconds. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. Remember, if you need more time, feel free to pause the video. When we examine a position on a molecule to determine if it is a nucleophile or an electrophile, we basically need to answer the question, if it's an electrophile, does it, is it electron deficient in some way? If it's a nucleophile, does it have pairs of electrons that it could use? In this particular case, uh, the carbonyl group has a resonance structure that puts a positive formal charge on that carbon. That positive formal charge uh, indicates that the carbonyl carbon is at least partially positive charge. The bond is polarized from carbon to oxygen. And so this is a case where the carbon is, is a little bit electron deficient and could accept a pair of electrons to form a new bond. This, mo this molecule at this position is an electrophile because of that polarized pi bond. In the next video, we'll talk about fundamental mechanism steps. Thank you for watching.